Now let's talk about some advantages. Since it's an independent device, all you need for <clears throat> recording a video, the hardware software is all built in here. All you have to do is connect it to the system. Also, we can, for massive storage, we can add multiple hard drives. These hard disk drives are specially designed for surveillance purposes. These hard drives have longer lifespans and they have adjusted the power consumption. So these hard drives are kind of be better than the ones we have in our computer because they're designed for all day long surveillance. Their writing and reading can continue for like 24 seven. And say if we don't want to use a NVR to record our video, we're gonna have to use say like a personal computer. If we keep our computer on for 24 seven, uh, the hardware kind of will be over overpowering, overload. It, it will kind of cut their life expansions. So an NVR, it can like minimum our, our total power usage and also do all the read and write for the 24 seven. Also in NVR, we can connect it with like a screen via through like a VGA cable or HDMI cable and we can then watch the video feed live on the screen right here. Now I'm going to set up a whole IP camera system and let you guys see how we connect the NVR to our PoE switch. First just I'll tell you guys how to install a hard disk drive to the NVR system. Once you've used a screwdriver to remove all the bolts you just simply open the lid and then there's the power cord and the data cord you just simply attach it to them and there are screw screws here you can tightly connect the hard disk drive to the bottom of the box all right so let's assume this hard disk drive is already installed and we close the lid and prepare it for max massive video recording now in order to let the system work we're going to need a poe switch you guys should be familiar with this if not the poe switch can power the ip camera with its poe ports right here and connect with the nvr with the uplink upload link here and also we have to prepare our ethernet cables one will go to the camera and PoE switch, one will go to the PoE switch and the NVR. Let me do the connections. Also, don't forget about the power. The NVR and the PoE switch have their power supplies built in, so we just connect them to our alternating current outlets. And once they're all plugged in, the power should be running through the whole system. <clears throat> and also in the NVR, we can use a mouse for managing all the different features. There's many features so you can like choose how you want to lay out your cameras. Um, you can choose a specific image you want to maximize screens. There's USB ports here to, to insert our mouse. And don't forget, we, if we want to watch it off a screen, we'll need a VGA or HDMI cord. Now that was the sound of the system running. Okay. Now you can see a blurry image on our screen. That is the camera initially running and now it has self-focused to the clock and zooming in until it's steady. Okay, you can see on the screen right here, the clock is ticking. So it's like a live feed from the camera. All right, it seems the system is working. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave your questions and comments on the section below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.